Okay, guys. Uh, actually, I and I will try to explain the PID control for valve actuator of an air handling unit. Okay. Now, actually, we have here this uh, uh inputs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight inputs and one output. Okay. So the output of this valve or this uh, PID control is analog or real. Okay. Then you are going to feed it to your analog output block, okay, which you will bind to your uh, controller uh, analog output port, okay. Now, uh, for the measured value, it depends whatever you will use. If you are going to maintain, if you are going to maintain the the supply temperature, then you can use the supply temperature. Or if you are going to maintain the return temperature, then you have to use the return temperature here and the sum, uh, this set point here, the SP, then the mode, one, H gain, negative 25, then integral time, then the derivative time in seconds, that is in zero. So this is how you're going to uh, configure the PID or PIDA controller okay now actually we are using this in temperature pressure control for our HVAC equipment okay so then you can use this one in combination with other uh, mental blocks okay so guys this is the uh, configuration of uh, HU valve control okay now actually I have created also a detailed explanation for this one for members, okay? So this is one of the perks that you can get if you are a member of this uh, channel, if you have some problem in the site, especially if you are handling a uh, a project and you are a new BMS engineer, I will try to help you. I'm not saying I will do the work for you. I will just give you some idea how are you going to complete the BMS project or how are you going to successfully do the testing and commissioning. So if you're really having some problem, now you can join the channel. So based on my uh, experience or within my capacity, I will try to help you. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching. So this is Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Then before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.